Hello miners, Rusty coming at you with another knife review. Today we're going to look at a clasp knife. This is a from the Rough Rider Tater Skin uh, series and it's a big knife. Model number RR2329 and I think I paid, well I know I paid too much. I paid $27 off of eBay and I think they're on Smoky Mountain Knife Works for $24. So anyways, part of the reason, I, I guess I didn't shop Smoky Mountain Knife Works before, but I've been seeing clasp knives go for some crazy money. Of course, the case ca collapse knives. Uh, this has the R double, RR, R reverse R shield, I guess we'll call it, which looks like a shield. The nickel sil silver uh, bolsters which don't contain any nickel, nickel silver doesn't. Anyway, that's some trivia. And take a peek. This one is it's good. So that's not a, um, yeah, that could be right there, little gap. Fine, fine, little gap. Try to get you some, look at that. Uh, I do believe, I call this a clasp knife because I don't use the nail nick. Wow. So it's got a nice strong pull on it and a, we'll call this a satin finish on that. You guys don't get to see Rusty behind the camera. And then the cursive Rough Rider paying stamp. Again, followed by the model number and China. And it's funny, they say 440 razor sharp steel, and it's in smaller print than you would have on like a trapper. We got this big blade and they put on that small print there. So, uh, sure feels super sharp and the edge looks nice. This is factory. And so you can pick these up right now for 24, 25 bucks. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We have this wedge right there. And it's a big blade. I mean, I'll put the uh, description down below and uh, should be able to figure out how big that is. Transmission, trans, transitions are smooth. Yeah, very nice. I think the micarta is nice. It's uh, smooth, but it's, you know, kind of grippy. The ergos are pretty decent. And yeah, let's compare that to today's carry. You guys know I like the Pelican. And we'll just throw that out there. And the Pelican has a 3.3 inch, three and a quarter inch blade. So comparing that, what are we sitting now? What do you guys look, think we're looking at there? Good four and a half, perhaps. And this might be close to four inches. So we got to have a five, five and a half inch handle there. So let's talk about the action real quick and then we'll put it away. Ooh. Okay. So Whenever you're reaching out here, so if you try to open it right here, it's near impossible. But we get out here and I, I clasp it. That's where I think the name. For me, that's why I think they call them clasp knives. I don't use this nail nick, but we clasp it. That's pretty good. That's about a seven. And right here, there was a little hiccup. Oh, baby. Ah, yeah. It's good. It's good. So if you guys are into big knives, give this one a try.